What's up everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here. It's been just about a decade since I could say, let's unbox a brand new PlayStation. I've got the fourth iteration of Sony's console right here and I am itching to open this sucker up. Let's go ahead and see what the PlayStation 4 is all about. So here is the box for the PlayStation 4. It is sitting right there in its black coloring. You've got the brand new controller. Uh, that is the DualShock 4, and that is about it. So with the PlayStation 4, it only comes in one variety. That is a 500 gigabyte flavor, but you can replace the internal hard drive, which we'll show you guys how to do a little later. I will use, since this is a big unboxing, Senor Stabby to cut this tape ceremoniously. I am very excited. Uh, the PlayStation is undercutting the Xbox One by about 100 bucks, uh, but does not come with the PlayStation camera, the new PlayStation Eye. Um, so here is the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at that console first. Uh, we're going to have a ton of PS4 coverage, including setup. We're going to go over the controller in much more detail. Um, we'll show you guys how to replace the hard drive and a ton of other stuff. Um, so we've got cardboard now on the side. Don't have any more styrofoam. so more uh, friendly for the environment. Pull this out, and here is the PlayStation 4, looking very uh, sleek and much lighter than I thought it was going to be. I'll push that off to the side for one quick second. I will come back to you, I promise, my friend. Uh, here is the new DualShock 4. I've never been a big fan of how the previous DualShocks felt, um, but this one feels really, really good. I've always preferred the Xbox controller, but now it's pretty much even for which controller feels better. Uh, everything here has been redone. Actually, I'll walk you guys through the whole deal. But you've got redesigned analog sticks, new triggers, you've got a touchpad, you've got a glowy light that the eye can, the camera can keep track of to tell where you're at. Um, you've got a built-in microphone, an auxiliary port for something that's going to come later. You've got share and options button built right in. This new controller feels really, really, really good. So if you, like me, weren't the biggest fan of the older controllers, definitely want to try this because you might really enjoy uh, the new controller here. Uh, else in the box, probably nothing too exciting. Um, special offers for games, welcome to the, world of the PlayStation. And you've got a microphone, which is kind of nice. You plug that right into the controller with the built-in mic, so you can yell at the 13-year-olds as they beat you. Uh, you've got a way to charge your controller. It just charges via micro USB. Power cord, no power brick. It is built into the console, like the last generation, which I really liked that Sony did. And they're including a HDMI cable, which is very nice. Last generation did not do that. Uh, it would appear that Sony learned a lot of lessons from the PS3 launch. So let me throw that box off to the side and let's take a look at the console. It is pretty nice. So you might be asking yourself, John, where's the power button? It is hidden right there. There's a touch sensitive button that you just touch and the power turns on. Below that is an eject button for the slot load disc right there. And that is of course still Blu-ray. Uh, two USB ports, I believe those are USB 3.0. They've got all the sort of logos on the side, HDMI, DTS, Dolby, and Blu-ray. On the back though, here's where all your I.O. is going to live. That's obviously power, that's your optical audio, HDMI, Ethernet, but of course this is built in uh, Wi-Fi, and then I believe that is um, an auxiliary port as well. Uh, right next to it, it sort of looks like a, a chubby uh, USB port. So it's been a very first look and unboxing at the PlayStation 4. You might be thinking you want to put it like this, um, and it'll stay like that, but Sony will happy to sell you a stand that'll sort of keep it a little bit more stable. It's a little bit wobbly. Now, other than that though, it's a really nice looking console. I'm excited to power the sucker up and get my next gen game on. We're gonna have a ton of coverage on the PS4. Uh, so please hit the link down below to check out those videos as they come online. Uh, and of course, technobuffalo.com for the latest PS4 news. Until then, I'm John Renger. Please give the video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We've got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. If you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.